Hey guys, what's going on? It's your boy Red Rum, and today we're gonna to be jumping into the long-awaited ALPR uh, script release and overview here um, that we're gonna be doing in this uh, video. Um, so pretty much what this is is obviously, as you guys may know, it's your automatic license plate recognition system. Um, we just went with the basic, you know, San Andreas, so nothing really has to be changed. This this can just be a uh, drag and drop um, kind of thing here. Um, as nothing really needs to be changed um, name-wise or config-wise, but there's options in there to change certain things. But um, just going over the basic UI settings, if you just go to the settings tab, you have your shutter volume, alert background volume, which is your plate alert when you um, alert on a bolo plate. You have your local um, uh, bolo hit warrant plate volume and then you have your NCIC warrant volume here so um, you guys can change those in there if you uh, want to but if we um, are on this page and you see your element UI positions tab um, default um, if you just click reset UI positions it'll default to these permission or these um, positions right here you can go in here and change these making them bigger if you really um, wanted to um, I guess you could do that if you wanted to um, but just resetting the UI positions just gets them right there that way it works with the radar that I'll show you in a second um, but if we go out of here um, by just clicking the exit um, UI um, you can see your manage ALPR markers down here you can create a marker um, which we will just go ahead and do uh, which we'll do John Smith, license plate is going to be one, two, three. Um, we'll just do test for the reason. We submit that. Now, on yours, once you hit this one, two, three plate, it's going to come up with that bolo alert. It's going to play that bolo sound and it's going to act as if it's, you know, scanning all the plates. So you can set a bunch in here. Say you're in patrol, you have multiple vehicles running, you have multiple plates you need a bolo dispatch calls over you need a bolo plates you can just bolo them and you don't really have to look out per se as because it's going to scan everything and uh, make those um, sounds for you so once i turn this on here it's going to bring up this basic um ui kind of plate reader here um which i can kind of tie in which i will here in a second to the um radar script that we're using but it's gonna go through all these plates and kind of log them so um, just for the sake of it I'll just go ahead and turn this off but well I'll turn it on as you can see what it's doing here um, rear right rear right rear right front left front left front left so it tells you where it picks it up from so obviously these rear rights are all coming from behind my car so if I get a bolo alert um, I can open this really quick and say, hey, this was in my rear right. So it didn't pass me coming up this way. It passed me coming back um, this way because it's, it's on my rear, rear right of the vehicle here. Um, so this camera pointing this way um, is where it's going to be scanning it from. So we'll just turn this off for the sake of the video so you guys don't hear that. I personally really like the sound. I think it adds a lot of realism. Um, and such to you know using this and using this in a um, community but um, pretty much how it works is it's going to scan these plates now this doesn't have any um, integration within um, a CAD on this version so it's just going to bring up a list on these AI vehicles of random names it's going to pull that vehicle model it's going to pull that color um, make and model of the vehicle and it's going to list that there along with the license plate with the registered owner and license valid from that's just going to be randomized information based off the list set in the script so it kind of adds realism to say hey these are all ai people but when you set that bolo plate for a player it'll um pull that information up on the bolo obviously it's not going to pull up their information because it's not connected to a cat at the moment um, it will be in the future connected to um, some sort of system and framework we're going to put together. Um, but for now, it's a it's a cool standalone script um, with the, the plate setting bolo features, the cool clean UI. It tracks and logs all the plates here. 
And you can even turn the shutter volume off and just have it track all the plates. So if you're running radar, you hop this on. If there's a bolo plate you have set, if it passes you, you'll get that alert and everything will be logged here as well. So it's a very clean UI and um, script for any 5M community um, per se. So um, what we'll go ahead and do is show you guys the bolo features um, that this uh, script has to offer. Um, so we'll just go ahead and exit out of this. I'll just show you guys real quick. We'll just go ahead and spawn in, say, a compact vehicle here. I'll set, set the license plate. And I don't want to cut it because, you know, I just want to make sure and show you guys that everything does work on this. So we're going to put this vehicle, we'll say, here on the side of the road. Um, it's parked, whatever, it's driving, and we're, we're, we're running our radar this vehicle passes we heard an alert and i'll just show you guys what that's going to sound like and how um, you can proceed from there so we obviously i believe have this marker here for john smith license plate one two three for that reason so that's that's all submitted that's done deal right here um so from here we'll go ahead and turn on our alpr cameras we'll come back this way We'll see what it does here. As you see, you get that sound front alert. Metallic silver glitz though. One, two, three is the plate, and that's going to be your bolo match. So from here, um, you could you know do whatever you want to do with the vehicle, but it's going to show that alert there, and it's going to lock it on your front reader. So if we go in here, we'll show you guys what it looks like on this side of things. It's going to say our front left uh, camera caught it. Um, it's going to show make model of the car. It's going to show the RO that we set. So. It's going to show the name you put in there if you have a name. If you don't, you put no name. It's not going to show a name. It's just going to bolo that plate. Um, if we go ahead and pass the vehicle, it's going to pull up on our rear. Just so we know everything's working, it's going to pull up on our uh, rear alert there. Brings up a second little drop down UI um, attached to that as well. So we want to remove this. We stopped the vehicle, got him out of the vehicle, arrested him, or whatever. We're going to go ahead and click this, and we're going to click remove UI lock. Once you remove that UI lock, that one two three plate is, yeah, that one two three plate is no longer gonna scan as a bolo plate. You can go in here, manage markers, go ahead and delete it. Either way, it's not gonna scan as a bolo plate because you already removed it from your um, system. So now it's gonna work right back to normal. Um, scanning plates, you can add plates and logging information from there. Um, as you can see so a few other commands that we'll just go over just for the sake of this we have once you type in that alpr you have um a few different things here so if we do just this it opens up ui you can do everything from there you don't need to use any other command but for the sake of it um we'll just actually we'll just actually turn this off um yeah we'll just turn this off for the sake of it um you can do a few things here you can reset ui so reset ui alpr ui settings reset or you can um, click clear um that won't do anything but if you click clear front rear both that's pretty much just going to do what i just showed you guys remove ui lock so it's going to clear a bolo plate if you scan a bolo plate you pass it you already um, checked it out you just forgot to delete it you just do that alpr clear uh, rear and it's going to go ahead and clear that plate plate lock on that rear settings there so that's um sorry for the long video here that's going to be it for this um kind of the script that we're going with here the alpr um if you guys are interested in purchasing this uh you can join my discord um it'll be through tebex so just um we'll go from there but you can join there make a ticket and um we'll go from there with the links and such like that um that's going to be all i have for you guys um appreciate feedback in the comment section like i said no hate is needed here if you don't have anything nice to say please just don't say it we're all trying to work together so just go with the flow don't don't cause issues if there's none to be caused and you guys have a great rest of your day i'll catch you guys in the next one